Hello everyone, David Gilio here with Ozen Engineering and in this video I will show you how to use the electrostatic solver in ANSYS Maxwell to calculate the inception and breakdown voltages associated with local polarization and dielectric breakdown of a dielectric material. A dielectric material is an electrical insulator which has voltage limits. If these voltage limits are exceeded in the local pol polarization will occur within the dielectric which redistributes the atoms and um, charges in the molecules within the material and if exceeded further and the breakdown voltage is reached then the material material fully breaks down and electric arcing happens okay so here I will show you how to set up the model so here we have an electrostatic model and here in the model in the geometry we see a conductor disk at zero potential, right, zero volts. We have an electrode here at one kilovolts. We apply some, some mesh operations to create a, a fine uh, mesh for accuracy and to have results not dependent on mesh size, okay? And this model runs quickly within a few minutes. So basically, once we have the excitation and the geometry set up, we need a Post processing rectangle as I shown here, right? We run the simulation and then click the post processing processing rectangle, right click, fields, E, and add uh, magnet magnitude E. Okay. Once this plot is set up, then the next thing is in this view with the with the field plot showing showing, right click, fields, marker, add markers. And these markers are just points that we add along, along the post-processing rectangle. These markers represent the starting points of the streamlines, the electric arc lines. Okay, so right now they're not shown, but I'll just right-click, I go fields, marker, show marker, and there, there are the markers. See? So I, I position these markers to be one millimeter apart and you could distribute them however you want once they're in place then you can right click rectangle or anywhere in the in the model display right click fields fill um fill line trace and then we get this plot here and then we need to number one select the region in the volume and select highlight all the markers that were added then click done then we will see the streamlines see so these are the markers represent the starting points of the streamlines and we see the path of these lines okay then the next step is on the field line trace plot right click click inception voltage evaluation highlight all of the rows corresponding to each marker and then click evaluate i already evaluated that that's why it's grayed out but if it wasn't evaluated it will be available just click it and evaluates and then it, it calculates for us the inception voltage kilovolts and breakdown voltage kilovolts and in this example they're equal because the streamer constant is zero Okay, so depending on the material and the dielectric, sometimes the inception voltage equals the breakdown voltage, but not all the time. So for example, if I make this streamer constant change it to one, and I highlight, let me see this, evaluate, see that now, now the results are different, you see? Now the inception voltage is less than the breakdown voltage. If the inception voltage is reached, then the local polarization will take place, which basically re redistributes charge in the dielectric. And this happens um, effectively when there is voids and defects in the material. So the more defects and voids in the material, the, the stronger will be the redistribution of charge in, in the dielectric. All right? And we, here we see the total length of the arc, we have the critical values for voltage, critical length, all right? Now, in this simulation, in Maxwell alone, we're only 
calculating inception and breakdown voltages, which are the conditions for local polarization and condition for breakdown and electric arcing. We are not modeling the the the, the plasma arc of, of the dielectric material, in this case gas. We're not modeling the propagation of the arc, propagation of the arc plasma. We're not modeling that. If we if we want to model that, then we can use other tools and assets such as coupling Maxwell with fluent, which we model the conductivity and and the pressure of the fluid and compute the temperature distribution and the pressure distribution and we could get the the, the propagation of the arc but if, you, if we want that but in this case in this example we're not doing that also another tool is em charge plus i believe it's called and that's another ANSYS tool all in one you can model the the conditions and the arc propagation all right so thank you very much that's all for this video. Contact us to learn about our simulation capability and request a demonstration for us to show you how we can help you with your engineering projects. Ozone Engineering Inc. is an ANSYS Elite Channel Partner and we provide training to 